so I originally started just about probably like four or five years ago and it was just in hopes to spread my message with being transgender and um, just kind of sharing my journey with everyone and I honestly didn't expect it to kind of go where it went. On TikTok, like you have over 200,000 on TikTok. Is Um, I live in upstate New York. I figure we can just like chat for a bit. Like I'm curious like, about like your goals as like a creator and like with monetization. And then I could tell you a bit more about Fan House and show you what the app looks like and stuff like that. So I originally started just about probably like four or five years ago. And it was just in hopes to spread my message with being transgender and um, just kind of sharing my journey with everyone and I honestly didn't expect it to kind of go where it went On TikTok like you have over 200,000 on TikTok and I just recently started getting into like the brand deal We believe that every creator has this group of super fans that are very powerful They love the creator a lot and they actually want to like financially support them and help them make more projects Okay, great. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll send all that stuff over and, you know, let me know what you think and hopefully we can stay in touch and work together. I'm excited that you're interested. I think it would go really well. All right. Have a good night. You too. Bye. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So you're probably wondering what that was all about and I'm going to tell you. But before we hop into it, my name's Kyle, a.k.a. Prince Kyle. Don't forget it. And I have an Instagram as well as a TikTok where I share my female to male transition as well as give tips to anybody that wants to hear about it. So without further ado, I am a part of Fan House. Most of you guys are probably asking, Kyle, what the hell is Fan House? I was wondering the same thing. Um, recently, these past few months, I think it's because of TikTok. I've been getting a lot of like brand deals and collaborations and product review emails and stuff like that. And with that comes a lot of sketchy emails as well where you don't know if it's actually a real offer. So I was kind of skeptical with this one because I'm like, fan house, what is that? I've never heard of it. Why is this person reaching out to me to make a fan house? It can't be real. But they offered me to video chat and I thought that would be a good way to figure out if they were real or not. And as you heard, it was real. So I did more research and found out that it was a real thing. And I definitely wanted to be a part of it because after hearing what he had to say, it sounded really, really cool. And I feel like it is a good fit for my platform and the education that I'm trying to provide for everybody. So with that being said, Fan House is a platform that is very similarly, similarly, Fan House is a platform that is similar to OnlyFans, but before you get excited, it's not OnlyFans content necessarily. It's more for content creators and influencers to interact with their most popular audience, the people who really love seeing and hearing what they have to say. So pretty much it's a website where you guys can subscribe to your favorite influencers and content creators and keep up with their everyday lives and see the things that they may not actually post on their regular platforms like Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all that good stuff. And it's a way for you guys to speak with us one-on-one -on -one more often and ask us pretty much anything you want to ask. And then there's also a feature on there where you can have a mass group chat with everybody that is subscribed. We can all talk together. So not only will you be talking to me, but we can have conversations together and you can make friends within that platform. So uh, the reason that I thought it would be really good for my following is it opens doors for a lot of people because I get a lot of questions on how to transition and how to go about top surgery, uh, how to start dieting, um, what kind of fitness plan that I use, all those questions where I try so hard to answer everybody on Instagram but it is just impossible to give every single person my undivided attention on there. My toxic trait is thinking that I can answer everybody but unfortunately I'm only one person and it's very hard. So with you being subscribed on my fan house account because you're subscribed I 
can easily make the time and the effort to answer in depth with whatever question you have, whether it's intrusive or not intrusive. I also get people who don't think they can ask me intrusive questions, but on a platform that is more secured and more closed off to specific people who just really have an interest in what I have to say, I'm a lot more open to giving you guys the answers that you need because you're obviously subscribed for a reason. You want to hear what I have to say. So unlike my Instagram, I'm pretty plain Jane with my content. I'm pretty plain Jane with my discussions because I have people on there that I went to school with who don't want to hear about certain conversations and don't want to see certain things. So with this account on FanHouse, I can be an open book because you guys are subscribed to see and hear those specific things and I'm willing to give you that information. So I just think it'll be a really good thing. I already have like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 people subscribed and they seem to like it. Uh, I think it's going very, very well and I just want to continuously advertise the fact that I do have a fan house because again my whole purpose of being a content creator and an influencer for the trans community is to be able to give back to everybody who may be less fortunate to have the resources or the knowledge that I was able to have during my transition definitely go check it out all the information will be down below and again it's five dollars but not only do you get access to pretty much my entire life story and all the information behind it, but you also have access to dieting tips and fitness tips and transition tips and literally all of that stuff. And then you get to talk to me. I think I'm pretty cool, so yeah. And then on top of that, yes, I do profit from it, but the way I look at it is it's people who want to see me do well in this type of industry I guess you would call it because I do want to be a full-time content creator I don't want to continuously work a nine-to-five job I do right now I'm actually here probably can't see but yeah I'm here right now I'm on my lunch break and I just don't want to be here so you guys would be helping me tremendously not only make my dream come true of working for myself and doing what I want but I'd be able to help you guys so much more because all the money that you guys provide for me, whether that's on my TikTok or my YouTube channel or now Fan House, all of that money goes right back into what I'm putting out. So all of the money I make, I'm literally collecting it all and it's going right back into my YouTube channel and my TikTok and all that stuff. That's all I have for you guys today. And I hope you did enjoy this video. I also posted a midweek video this past I think Wednesday or Tuesday and if you haven't seen it yet you should definitely go check it out it's a little different it's a workout video I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace